Hey guys, today we're gonna do a at-home cardio routine. You don't need any equipment. I like to do this routine two to three times a week and you can intensify it the way that you want. You can do it as a beginner for eight minutes and this is a whole body cardio routine. You're gonna raise your heart levels, you'll burn lots of calories, but at the same time, you're gonna be building muscle and strength because you're gonna be working with your body. This cardio routine is gonna work your upper body, your abs, your legs, and your glutes. It's amazing, you'll feel an awesome burn. And if you can do this routine three times, that's 24 minutes of a high intensity cardio routine, which is awesome. Today I woke up at five to work out at six, and I was feeling so motivated that I said, you know what, I wanna do this cardio routine and show them. Because literally you can do it wherever you are. You can do it at home or even in your office. So there's truly no excuse to not working out. And believe me, after you do it, you're gonna feel so good about yourself. Too much talking, let's get on with the routine. <laughs> First exercise is gonna be lateral hops. So basically what you're gonna do is just imagine that there's a line and you're gonna jump from side to side. This is just to get you warmed up, get your heart rate going, and simply that's it. For this exercise, it's important to keep your abs contracted, keep your back very straight, and just jump side to side. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds to start warming up. Start breathing, inhale, exhale, mentalize yourself. I know you got this, you can totally do this. If you're a beginner, you can totally do these exercises just for 30 seconds. So if 45 seconds is too much for you, start off with just 30 seconds. And the important thing is to do these exercises correctly. It's not about doing as much as you can and doing it all wrong. All right, so we're just gonna get our heart rate going and jump side to side. Next exercise is we're gonna do squats. Okay, for the squats, you wanna make sure that your knee is not overpassing your toes and you wanna keep your back very straight, you wanna keep your abs contracted and you want to stick your butt out as much as you can. The lower that you go, the more you're gonna be working. Squats are excellent because they work your abs, they work your legs, and especially your glutes. You can totally intensify this exercise by doing squat jumps. So what you do for that is that you basically just jump and then go into a squat, and then jump and then go into a squat. We're gonna be doing this again for 45 seconds. <laughs> All right, so now we move on to the next exercise. The next exercise is gonna be skiers. So for skiers, we're just gonna jump from side to side, but we're gonna do just longer jumps. So you're gonna jump to the right and to the left. You can touch your toes if you want. If you don't want, you don't have to. It'll make it a little harder if you do touch your toes. And the faster that you do this, the more it'll raise your heart rate, the harder it will be. But again, it's important to just listen to your body. And if you wanna do them slower, you can do that as well. Or you can even just walk from side to side if this is too much for you. So just jump from right to left, right to left. And again, we're just getting our heart rate going. And remember, this is a great cardio routine. Now we're gonna do vertical hops. And vertical hops is just simply jumping up and down. We're just jump, 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 jump up and down. Again, this is a great cardio exercise. And many times we think of cardio and we think like, oh, I have to go run or walk or go on a bike or be at a gym and a machine. But no, you can definitely do cardio at home. It's gonna burn the same amount of calories and you can do it really anywhere. It doesn't take time, you don't have to go anywhere, and really, there's no excuse for working out. So basically, all we do is just jump up and done, up and done up and down, vertical hops, vertical hops, okay? Come on, you guys, we totally got this. Up and done. After this exercise, we're halfway there, and then it's easy breezy.
Next exercise is we're just gonna sprint in place and we're just running in place, run to the front, to the side. 45 seconds, sprint in place, and the faster that you run, the harder it's gonna be. If you wanna make it even more harder, you can raise your knees. So the higher you raise your knees, the harder it's gonna be. And again, just intensify it the way that you want. This is. And we just run in place, run. Honestly, sometimes when I'm lazy to do exercise, I just am so thankful that I have a body that I can work with and it just motivates me even more, okay? Now we're gonna do lunges and lunges are great for all of your legs, for your glutes and for your abs. And for these types of lunges, we're gonna do three variations. So one, you can step to the back with your right leg and then with your left leg and just step back, back, back. If you step backwards, it's gonna work your glutes more, but you can also step forward. So you just simply step forward to the front. Remember, just like squats, it's important that your knee does not overpass your toes. And the lower that you go, the harder it's gonna be and the more it's gonna work your legs, okay? And then you can make it even harder if you do jumping lunges. You wanna make sure that your back is very straight, that you keep your abs contracted, and that you smile <laughs> because we're working out and working out just makes us feel good. Now we're gonna do quick feet and then squats, okay? So what you're gonna do is that basically you do quick feet for 10 seconds or 10 times and then you squat down, okay? And for squats, remember that your knee does not overpass your toes. Keep your back straight and your abs contracted, okay? And squats work your whole body. So keep your abs really, really, really tight when you do this. Even when you're doing the quick feet, keep your abs contracted as well and feel that, feel them working. Okay, so 10 times, 10 seconds, quick feet and then squat down. These types of exercises, like basketball players, football players do them a lot. It's an agility exercise. So it just makes you quicker at anything. Okay, you guys, we're almost done. We just need one more exercise and then we move into abs. And now we're gonna do mountain climbers. So mountain climbers, basically you're gonna get into a push-up position and you're gonna bring your knees to your chest. The faster that you do this, the harder it's gonna be. This exercise is working mainly your abs, okay? So you can do it slow and slowly is very effective as well because you're really just feeling the whole exercise, all right? The important thing is to try to bring your knees as close to your chest as you can, all right? So fast or slow, or you can even alternate. You can do it fast and then you can do it slow and then fast and then slow. You can do it however you want, okay? Now that that's done, we move into abs. Oh, my favorite, I love, I love, I love. Like during my workouts, I just love when abs come around. Okay, so for the first set of abs, we're gonna raise our legs and try to touch our toes with our hands, okay? We're gonna do this for 45 seconds and try to come low as much as you can and try to keep your knees as straight as you can. I know it's hard, I feel it too. <laughs> so the straighter that you keep your knees, the more it's gonna work your abs. And just simply touch your toes and remember, breathe, breathe, breathe. So inhale when you're coming down and exhale when you're coming up. Inhale, exhale. All right. All right, you guys, you can do this. We just have one more exercise to go and we are finito, we are done. Okay. Now, final exercise, one of my favorite ab exercises is you're just simply gonna lay down and you are going to raise your legs and then bring them down. You don't want your, you want your, your back to be touching the floor at all times, okay? 
and try to do it slow so you really really work your abs or you can do it fast as well but slowly is a little bit harder and if you can't go all the way down like, like your legs it's fine you can just simply bring it down a little bit and then up down and up this is gonna work your lower abs especially okay and you're gonna totally feel a burn <laughs> so just 45 seconds and then we are finished <laughs> And we are done. Doesn't that feel amazing? If you can do this two or three times, you are going to be whew, burned out by the end, but it's going to feel so, so good. I honestly love making these types of videos because working out exercise is a huge part of my life. I work out every single day. Well, not like intense workouts, but I am active every single day. And once I got in the groove of it, now it's really hard for me to not be active. Like if I'm not active one day, it's like, I need something, at least walking or anything. And how I started doing this is just simply like setting an intention in my mind that I wanted to work out and then setting a goal and then committing myself to that goal. So once I go to sleep, I think about the next day that I want to work out. And when I wake up, I wake up with a goal in mind, you know, that I, I want to do this. And sometimes I'm like lazy and I don't want to work out, but I think of how great I'm going to feel afterwards. And it's amazing because we were designed to move and to be active. So I really hope that you enjoyed this routine. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys like these types of videos. I love hearing feedback from you guys. Thank you so much for all your support and your love always. You guys are seriously the sweetest all the time. And if you liked it, don't forget to like it. And you can subscribe here to my channel if you haven't subscribed. It's free and I upload videos every single week. Also, I'll leave you my Snapchat and my Facebook and my Instagram, everything at Ravana, where I'm inspiring you every single day to just lead a healthier lifestyle. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye.